Hi, I'm Sherry Edgeloni, team leader of Sherry & Co. And I'm here with Scott Murphy. He is the owner of DS Murphy & Associates. And he also sits on the uh, appraisal review board as chairman. He's an expert in his field. And today we're gonna talk about iBuyers. Very interesting topic, very Isn't timely. It? So what does iBuyer mean? So say you're in a situation where you don't wanna show the house, you don't wanna do any updating to the house, you just wanna get out from under it, or you need to get out from under it quickly. There are websites now where you can go and just put your uh, information in, send them a few pictures, and they'll spit out an offer. It sounds really simple, right? Like who wouldn't do it? Yeah. But there's always a catch, right? Yeah. Nothing's that easy and nothing's free. So what happens is they come in with a price that may sound reasonable, a little below market, but then they're gonna come back again after you've accepted the offer or said, okay, I'll meet, and they're gonna devalue the house again. Right. They'll take money off for upgrades, for um, paint, carpet, any kind of repairs. Plus their initial fee, they don't call it commissions, but in reality it is like a commission. Yeah. Um, you're paying like seven to 11% off of that price that they give you on the front end. Right. What have you seen? I've seen the same thing where um, these exorbitant prices and uh, a seller might think, well, you know, at least I don't have to, to list the property, but I'm sure you can show them exactly how it can be sold very quickly without a lot of showings. Mm -hmm. And all these repairs that they devalue the property for, there are ways to actually add those back and get them paid for and add the value back to the property. Right. So two things. One, if they really need to get out quickly, I mean, we could list the property at a, an aggressive price, right? And then you know you're going to get multiple offers. So they, they could virtually be gone for a couple days over a weekend and get their house sold. The other thing is that they're only buying properties up to four or five hundred right. thousand. So they're not going to buy million dollar properties. Right. They're buying the homes that they know are going to sell relatively quickly anyways. Right. And they don't buy anything with a pool. They're not buying there's a lot of things they won't buy, things that they think are either more of a liability or could take longer to sell. So we can actually sell the house faster than they can because number one, we have better marketing. That's a given. Um, we're also networked so well within our industry that we're gonna be able to go just out to other agents and list it as a coming soon um, before it even lists, right? Right. So before they even start showing the house, we can list them as a coming soon and get people ready to see the house. Basically, they can go away. I've told sellers, like, just go away Friday and Saturday, just during the day, and we'll get you offers and we'll have you under contract by Sunday. So how hard is that versus selling the house at whatever price they gave them less 10, 11%, and then another like 10% when they come in um, for repairs and renovations. But Sherry, my house is destroyed. The carpets are ruined, the hardwood floors. I can't list the property in this condition. Yes, so then we have, we have Compass Concierge for that. So Compass, our broker, has a program called Compass Concierge, and they will pay for those updates. So we can bring in new carpet, have the house painted. We've had some painted inside and out put a few new light fixtures in, something just to kind of modernize it, give it a little little something, yeah. and then list the property higher than what they would have. Now, if they do a house like that, that they call like a fixer upper to uh, one of these iBuyers, they're really gonna get hit. That's another whole level. Like your average house may get hit by 10, 11%. A house that really needs renovation is gonna be like 20 to 30% below market. Right. No house should sell that low. We're also really hurting our property values, right? We are, and it really is gonna hurt the neighborhood with these very low sales that are in there. Mm -hmm. So are you using these um, iBuyer type sales as comps to other homes in the neighborhood? The initial purchase is typically not used because it's not an arm's length transaction, but it sets a trend and then also sets a scenario where the iBuyer can come in do a quick uh, flip on the property and still sell it below market value, which hurts the neighborhood values. Right. 
So you're counting that as more like a relocation type of sale, right? right? We're not putting as much weight on it, but there are some neighborhoods where there's so many iBuyer transactions that it's mm -hmm. really having a negative impact on values. Yeah. And that's sad because then we've got people coming in, like all of our first time home buyers, they're coming into a neighborhood unknowing they're buying one of these houses and those same companies are continuing to decrease the value. Right. So for our younger people that are trying to buy their first home and make money on it, that isn't gonna be the case in those neighborhoods. Yeah, it's sad. It is. So, before you think about doing one of these iBuyers, um, talk to us first. We can also get you an instant offer, and we'll let you know. We'll sit down with you and say, okay, here's the value you're going to get with an instant offer. Here's what we could do if you want to just do quick sale and be gone in a weekend. And here's what we can do if you want to put some money in and make some more money on the house. You have those three options. We'll lay them all out for you. Whatever you want to do is fine. If you want to take the instant offer, that's great. I just want to be the one to look at it with you and say, okay, this is where you're really going to end up as a seller net. Right. And um, some of them also require the, the seller to then um, work with them on the purchase side. Yeah, and they may or may not be a great agent. So I just want to make sure that whoever you're working with, they're really experienced, like everyone on our team, and they're making sure that you're making the best decision for you. Both on the sell side and on the buy side, you want to make sure that you're really you're buying something that you're going to be happy in and that you're going to be able to make money on. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for being with me, Scott. I really appreciate it, as always. My pleasure. You're a wealth of information. Yeah, happy to do it. Have a great day.